Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Not very likely. You staying at the hotel? Not at all. The face is familiar. Possible you've seen it in the newspapers or magazines, um, Vanity Fair. That must be it. Allow me to reintroduce myself. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's your girl, Issa. And, um, I was going through some footage and pictures and everything on my phone. And I realized that I never even made the vlog for my trip to Puerto Rico that was about, like, two years ago. So, yeah. So, <laughs> now I'm gonna put this video together. Um, the timeline of the activities may be out of order. But it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you guys, um, how my trip was. So, in this first clip, I'm actually just showing, uh, the neighborhood. There was, uh, uh chickens. Do you see them right there? Yeah. Live chickens running around outside. There were horses. There were all types of farm animals just everywhere. There, those were roosters and, and hens everywhere. And I made this nice, cute kitty friend. Y'all know every time I go somewhere, I'm always making friends. So the first, the first friend I made in Puerto Rico was a cat. Uh, we're just gonna name him. Uh, a tiger, you know, El Gato, Tigre, <laughs> um, and yeah, that was my first friend I made, <laughs> he was very friendly, wanted to follow me back to the house and everything, but, you know, uh, that was me upon arrival, making friends with cats, and so, um, Eventually, after I finished playing with this cat, <laughs> pause, uh, I ended up going back in, but I let him get his little, his little time in. He was so sweet. He was pretty. And, uh, see, we're, we're not going to do no closed captions or nothing, but look, he wouldn't let me leave. It might be a her. I don't even know. I don't even remember at this point, but, yeah, she was trying to follow me back to the to the house uh, it might be a girl i think her belly is a little saggy but Bye yeah kitty. this is the neighborhood and as you can see she was trying to follow me back in but i told her she couldn't come with me <laughs> so uh, as soon as we got in everybody had to do shots and yes, we did ours and the reason why i was making that face was because i don't like cinnamon but yeah and yeah, them braids that I got, ew. I thought I thought um, I was gonna get some knotlies, but the lady didn't know how to do them. <laughs> but uh, this is just a short clip of showing what the actual uh, Airbnb looked like. Now it was really cute, but it had like some um, interior issues, like the water in the bathrooms. Um, there was just some maintenance things that needed to be taken care of. While it was, you know, a pretty cute place, it, it definitely needed a little more work in it. Um, it was only two bedrooms. There were two beds in each room, so everybody had their own bed, which was cool. Um, there was also two bathrooms. So, uh, you guys will see it, but... It was close and to the beach and close to the little downtown right area, and no that's all we really wanted. We wanted, we wanted to be in a nice, quiet area, and it was definitely that. And there's the first bathroom. It has, like, a huge uh, walk-in shower with a skylight, and you go around the corner. That was one room. That's the second bathroom with the water issue. I made a cat friend. And then there's the room that I was staying in with my friend. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> still in the first day we decided to check out 
um, this little place. I, I believe the area we were staying in was called uh, Caroline or Carolina. And we decided to go check out this other little spot, which you will see in the next clip. But this is just a little video showing some of the, the scenery downtown area. close by and I believe it was probably like 10-15 minutes drive and it was supposedly like a little area that has like a lot of restaurants and bars and stuff so we ended up getting like a drink or whatever and food in which you guys will also see stuck these pictures in but I can't remember what day it was but we went canoe riding and this was just some pictures I threw in before we got ready to go have our beach day and that's me you know cranking it getting it hyped turning myself up getting ready for the beach day the beach we went to was amazing beautiful beach So at this beach, it has started getting windy out, as you can see, but um, we paid to get an umbrella. Yeah, you had to pay to get an umbrella to sit out there. It wasn't free, but it was beautiful. We had a good time. We stayed out there for a little while. We just had a little bit of drink, and I don't remember if we had bought snacks with us or not, but we sat out there for a while. I believe I had went live um, for a little bit, too. So we had a really nice time at this. This was the first beach that we actually checked out. class on the beach and it was covered in trees there were lizards running out it was coconuts everywhere all types of trees um of course y'all know I, I had to make me some more friends so i made some little crappy friends and y'all see them coming up but it was a really beautiful beach it was it was 
a lot of trees and trails and walkways. There were people playing volleyball out there, all types of stuff. Hi, Krabby's. that attended that we went with so i believe it was that night i'm just putting it in here like it's that night um without having to go and do all the dating and everything but that night we went to this place called this district t-mobile um it's distrito i think in spanish but it, there's yeah. a bunch of restaurants um there was like a gaming arcade in there and we were supposed to go to that the next day but we didn't go. Um, I think they had like live music going on in there. It was really cool so I do want to check it out if uh, I go back again. And that was one of the places we ate while we were in there. Afterwards we went downtown to uh, I, what is it called, Old San Juan and took pictures. Oh. that we went to was called Playa Mar Chaquita and it was shaped like a U and it was a really 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 nice beach but it was dangerous so um, you gotta watch your feet when you go down near the rocks because it will take you up out of here um, we found a really cool hill to take photos on so uh, if you ever get the chance to go down to this part of San Juan you definitely gotta check it out There was also a moment in time when our trip we were supposed to have a dinner date. Everybody was wearing neutral colors for someone's birthday. Uh, we ended up not going to that dinner that night, but we just stayed in, we took pictures and chilled. And these next photos are one of the days we decided to go explore downtown San Juan. There were some amazing buildings down there. Great photo ops, nice colors, great scenery. Um, so we just started getting content all over the place. And she was trying to catch me walking and <laughs> I was looking crazy. My first coconut. Hi, my name is Issa. Um, I'm 13 years old. I am single. I am looking for a nice hot guy. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. I'm not super picky, but um, I like intellectuals. Okay. I like to have fun. I like creatives. Um, somebody spontaneous. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of the trip before everybody was leaving um one of the persons that had already left and we went shopping that day and we just decided to take a picture with the little thing right here and it took us three minutes we just did different poses i don't even think i even remember to like clip anything <laughs> from from that video but yeah that was my trip to puerto rico and I know it's like two years later, but it doesn't matter because I'm showing you the good stuff and, you know, encourage you to go and maybe you'll check out some of the same things and activities. Some stuff I didn't do, though. Um, they went to a um, park and did uh, 
a ATV and horseback riding, but I didn't go that day. I stayed in and I was live. But other than that, it was a great time and I definitely feel like you should go. I'm gonna go back. You should go.